A devastating earthquake in Morocco. More than 2,000 people dead and the death toll still growing. It happened late at night when most people were asleep. There was no warning. The quake was centered here, just south of the popular tourist destination of Marrakesh. Oh my God. At a rooftop restaurant, tourists running for their lives. This person fleeing as rubble crashes around them. The death toll today rising above 2,100. Upon hearing about the catastrophic earthquake in Morocco that claimed nearly 3,000 lives struck a chord with me, and I knew I couldn't just sit back. I had to do something. The problem was, I didn't know where to start. That's when I turned to my good friend Nadia. She's incredible with humanitarian work. So I reached out to her, and together we figured out a plan to help these remote villages in Morocco, where help couldn't reach easily. The next thing I knew I was on a plane to Rabat, Morocco. Good morning everybody today we are the day after i arrived in morocco so i arrived here last night so today we are organizing the finances at this point we received 2500 dollars the donation on gofundme then we managed to collect another thousand dollars from donations around here so thank you so so much uh the plan today is to go buy uh food uh blankets uh, uh anything that people need in the small villages because it's very cold so we'll see, we made a list of things that we're gonna go get. We also have a truck that is gonna come and join us later. We got also clothing donations here, so we're gonna bring some of that as well. Uh, I will show you in a minute when the truck gets here. So these are the updates as of now, and we're planning to leave for Marrakesh this afternoon. And then the next day we will head to the small villages. So that's the plan. So thank you again, and let's go on. When I landed in Morocco, Nadia and I immediately got to work. We headed to the local markets, handpicking non-perishable food items, including legumes and canned goods. Okay, so this is our order. Here we have, um, I think those are shampoo. Yeah, shampoo. Pampers, pampers, pampers. We just finished here to get everything we needed here and then my friend over there is in the car and then we are loading up the car so stay tuned. Voilà, on met les trucs dans la voiture. Voilà. So now we are on the next phase. We are going to buy uh, pajamas and stuff that are needed for, uh, for, for women, but also for the cold. So warm uh, pajamas, underwear and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna do next. Then we purchased warm clothes, underwear, socks, pajamas and sandals. Our goal was to bring a bit of warmth and comfort during these challenging times. Here is everything that we need for pyjamas, uh, underwear, uh, socks, and we're super hot. We've been negotiating this, this morning, but I think we got what we need. All over there lined up. All right, so we got those hairbrush and then some pants here. So we can put under clothes. Là, on est en train de négocier pour des chaussettes. Here we're looking for uh, socks. What's up everybody? Today we have been working all day trying to buy stuff, but we bought a lot of stuff. So we bought shoes, we bought clothes, we bought pajamas, we bought food. What else we bought, Nadia? Tents, tents, blankets, blankets, blankets. Yeah, so much, as you can see. Soup, a lot of things. Soup? Soup. No, not soup. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> soup. I think I would like to eat a soup right now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we, as you can see behind us, the whole car is full, so now we're gonna upload everything into a truck and then we're gonna hit the road to Marrakesh. So we will keep you posted on the adventure. So here's the truck with all the mattress on top, and then we have all of this, all these bags, and then we also have the car. And all of this that's gotta go. This is the second truck that we're filling up. 
with a bunch of stuff that the neighbor actually got from here. So we are making this happen. This is truck number one. This is truck number two. And this is the team that's going to help us. Okay, so the beauty of this is that people actually go into the store and they offering stuff. They put it in the truck right there. And so everybody's coming along to really help out and it's really amazing. We are ready to hit the road with those two trucks right here and then with the people who are going to be helping us. So I'm super excited and I'll keep you posted. It's gonna be a good day today, let's go. So 2020 meters of altitude. Voilà, et en direction du premier village dans lequel on va s'arrêter qui s'appelle Amoussel. So we're going to the small village town with the Amoussels. What's the name? Amoussels. Amoussels. So we drove about, oh my God, we drove so much. We're still not where we want to be in the villages, but we took a break right here. But we got probably another hour before sunset and we need to get to the villages. We're probably going to unpack and then tomorrow we are going to organize the donations. Yeah, it's been a long few days. So hopefully we get to do everything tomorrow. There you go. That's the update. Okay, so we made it here to village number one. Uh, we're gonna set up shop here. We already have some of the tents right there. And this is our truck. We're waiting for the second truck. So the goal right now is for us to figure out how we're gonna organize everything. So we are thinking about uh, putting a tent right here so we can sleep here tonight, organize all the stuff we have. And then we're gonna help out this village, but most importantly, we're gonna go up. So which means we have to hike. Um, because some of the areas are not accessible by road. We hike in and then we're gonna figure out how to distribute the stuff. So the others are taking stuff from here to there. Okay, so right now, we are taking everything from the bags and putting them in Andek and putting them in in organizing them. So okay, so cheese, oil, everything we organize it, and then. People are waiting outside because they're not allowed to get in. And this is all what we brought here. And then we have all the mattress there, the sack. And then the team is organizing everything. Bye. With the help of the village chief, we identified specific families in the community who were in desperate need of our assistance. Hello. 
Working tirelessly throughout the night, we organized and sorted every donation meticulously, ensuring that we were fully prepared to extend a helping hand to the families in need the following day. What are you doing right now? So we just finished working. It was amazing. We had all the people and we have a girl team, three women and a hundred thousand men. And yeah. we're really happy that we made this happen. We're not done yet. We still have to hit the mountains, but we did an excellent job and we help out a hundred families with this. Any <laughs> Okay, so we just um, talked to some people. We actually brought a wheelchair. We, we don't have a lot of help, but we try to do, we try to help with what we have. And uh, it was very emotional because we found out that they didn't get any help whatsoever from the government. Only volunteers, family, friends. I mean, it's a drive to get up here, but they were so happy that we actually were able to help them. So in this town, we have about um, 65 people who came down to the, our town where we actually gave the goods today. And there's a lot of damage in this town. So they welcome us. We're gonna see a little bit of the stuff that had happened here. Right here was the rooftop, and it was right above me, all the way over there. And it fell in a couple of seconds. Everything fell. Everything. But what? Okay. And cow. Oh. So here we found one person dead. Okay, so this house, you have a people now who live here. I don't know if I can film them, but they have their tent. 
elle est partie là-bas. Et voilà. This is where they live. Because this is no longer livable. And this is what animals survived. That's this cow and some cats and... Hi, mama. Here you have the people who are living here. So right now the people here wants us to invite us for tea because we helped them out and so we, we didn't want to do it but now I think we are going to accept it because they're so nice with us, so yeah. Today we have visited one of the worst villages here and as you can see on the footage and even though they lost everything and they are poor people, they still invited us for tea. We didn't want to accept the invitation but they insisted and they were so kind. My friend and I, we were just speechless by the beauty of these people, how nice they are, despite the fact that they have nothing. Voilà. Right now they are putting up tents together to help the villagers because there's nowhere to go and uh, they don't have a house. Voilà nos bénévoles dans le village le plus dévasté de la région dans le village le plus dévasté de la région qui sont en train de monter les tentes qu'on a ramenées parce que dans ce village-là euh, de 287 habitants 56 familles à peu près il y a, il y a juste deux tentes dans lesquelles ils s'abritent et là il est quasi dévasté tous les habitants sont sortis dormir à l'extérieur ou redescendus dans le village principal et, et euh, et en fait, il manque de tentes, cruellement de tentes. C'est le besoin premier euh, avant que les températures se refroidissent. Et là, on a ramené nous des grandes tentes qui sont en train de monter. Voilà, notre équipe de bébés Nepal, Ahmed, Soukaina, Ibrahim, Hussein, Yahya, Jamal, ils sont tous là. we extend our heartfelt gratitude to every one of you for being an integral part of our mission. Through the incredible support of our GoFundMe campaign and generous donations, we've raised close to $10,000. Your contributions have made an immense impact. In just a few days, we were able to procure vital supplies for those affected by the devastating earthquake in Morocco. None of this would have been achievable without the unwavering commitment of my partner, Nadia, and the exceptional individuals who rallied alongside us. For nearly a week, they tirelessly labored and slept in their efforts to offer some solace to those in dire need. Your support has been a beacon of hope in these trying times. Thank you for joining hands with us on this meaningful journey. If you wish to continue to support our mission, the GoFundMe link is in the description. 100% of the proceed is going to the victims of the earthquake in Morocco.